What is going on? What's going on? Good people of YouTube. Shout out to all confident, intelligent, assertive and respectable men. And also shout out to our beautiful, feminine, friendly and inspirational ladies. So we are back now. As I s we talked in a... If you remember the first video was which means the part one was about about image and how to build up so in part one I discussed seven personal image questions and busted the myths regarding your personal image but in this thing but in this part that means part two I'm going to discuss five reasons why your image plays important role in developing your own personal brand so number one creation of an identity so what does this mean it means that your identity is what and it's what are the components of identity it puts uh, to begin with your identity includes the portrayal of your own respective values, ideas, thoughts, and perceptions. Or in other words, simply said, it creates the core, it, it, it is a core factor which defines your image and your own personal brand. Next, this also includes what? Includes your appearance, behavior, and communication skills. Can I say this enough? Unfortunately, in today's modern world, appearance is number one factor and the number one thing that people judge us upon. That's a fact. That is a fact. Next, your behavior. Once you pass the behavior, the behavior, the appearance test, which means that the people need to like you based on your appearance comes the next test of your behavior it's not about you're not talking on it it's not so important in um, relationships but in also in your image and branding especially your personal branding how you behave how you interact with others which means your which also adds communicational skills it's very very important so gentlemen and ladies make sure you develop your yourselves properly including you pay you need to pay attention to your appearance behavior communi communication skills and your emotional intelligence you can, you, you, you can be a book, book smart yes but if you don't know how to connect with people and not and don't know how to inter interact with people you cannot progress you cannot progress you cannot progress next number two self-presentation so what is self-presentation self-presentation is a part of impression management okay this part this con this uh, impression management we're going to discuss in later stages of our channel and in let's say in, in later stages at first we next I'm going to let us point out why what is the importance of self presentation put it simply it conveys appropriate signal for situation and for the individuals involved however if you like to know more if you like to deep if you like to know more about self presentation psychology and problematics of self presentation you can study you can study the the presentation of self of the presentation of self in everyday life by Erwin Erwin Kaufman number 3 self promotion oh yeah we come to the our corporate business corporate world and also including our this equally applies to our day-to-day -day life when we interact with others within our community with our friends self-promotion is important 
but there's a difference. So, some people pr prefer to still promote themselves aggressively and be abusive. Most, most of the times, uh, this also includes verbal abuse because they're trying to promote themselves, they're trying to self promote, but at the same time, they're hurting others. So, you need to be careful about your self promotion. So, make sure that you promote yourself in calm, mindful manner. And this also means this also means what well, self promotion must be balanced and mild. So it means and what this includes includes self promotion and mild boasting, balanced boasting of your abilities, accompanied with reasonable flattery and mindful intimidation. Remember, 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 guys, don't use intimidation unless it's absolutely necessary. Because sooner or later, especially on the streets in, in a big city, you're going to get your bottom whooped. And then it's too late to cry. And it's too late to cry because sooner or later, when you try to boast yourself and intimidate others, especially others who are in, in, a, in a who operate in a pack in a groups get done unless you're with your own boys who can counter up get done to continue next is next component is professional presence oh yes professional presence is very important especially in our professional business corporate world so basically Professional presence when it comes to self-promoting and building your personal brand and image on your workplace, in your career, developing your career is basically everything. So, what does it include? It includes port portraying of your exceptional of your appearance. So, appearance must be exceptional. The grooming, cu communication, and your emotional intelligence remember I said before you can be a boot look smart yes but if you are shy if you're a person who's shy with almost no communication skills that means you not you don't you have a low emotional intelligence. you cannot not connect with your co-workers much less with your superiors or, or even as for the if you want to progress in your career while in that state, just forget it. Just forget. However, we're not here to bash. We're not here to. Educate. We are here to educate. We are here to. Educate. So, guys, unless you progress in your career, you need to. You need to how to build your professional presence. Why? Because professional presence is part of your image. Professional, more to be more professional image and such. So, ladies, uh, make sure you pay attention to. What does it mean? It means that if you are out of shape, if you uh, exercise, how? Lots of women for the gym. Or you can come home. The bottom line is you need to take care of your health. Your health is for appearance. So, if in shape, that means appearance already skyrocketed by three, four. That's high. That means appearance is for weight. And you know that it's be free. Once you get in appearance by taking care by proper clothes, know how to match up the 
the appearance skyrocket the free maybe or even higher it's grooming also very important guys especially but apply apply to guns etc but so but you have grooming skills the topic about grooming is in my other videos so make sure your grooming is proper. if you to have a little bit of facial hair make your hair like beard or mustache is properly grooved and trimmed however if you are into hair then it got to go and last but not least social presence factor in building your personal brand and your so what social presence mean the comments in your, in your opinion is social for you or the components of social pre so the social press in our is portrayed how we interact with individuals, how we dress, that means our appearance, our clothing, the fact, and and more importantly, make sure the colors fit. Don't go to crazy combinations. No, don't, don't. Make sure you do your in advance how to pair up going to look like a clown unfortunately that's a fact if you do your own research how to pair up color make uh, your different color cones of your clothes especially later those like or if you're late you might need to wear dresses etc you know how to pair up different combinations so back to the factor of social social is how we dress, we interact, how the food we eat, we perceive, and and all is what But my open adult 